Hello, this is Gabriel Benjamin. Um, today we are going to do a short form core conditioning video, which includes a little bit of stretching. We'll actually do dynamic stretching to warm up and you're going to need a wall to hold on to. So <clears throat> have the feet together and stand up really tall. Abs in. Notice how just standing tall makes you use your core a little bit. Put your right hand or whichever hand is closest to the wall there and go back and forth in a lateral fold. So we're not necessarily trying to get the deepest stretch, we're just warming up. And we're gonna do about three more. All right, very good, let's switch sides. And the opposite hand on the wall, feet together, stretch and keep the core in. Okay, next we'll do just a tiny bit of cardio, a few jumping jacks just to really warm up. So go ahead and begin. Keep the core in, steady. And then just bounce a little bit and then just shake out the hands a little bit. Very good. Okay, hands on hips. Stand up really tall. Lift the right knee and point the ankle. Switch the sides, lift the knee, point the ankle, and then switch back to that first side. Either stay like this or point the ankle and extend the leg. And then release. Let's do the other side. Lift the knee, point the ankle, extend the leg, and then release. Do some squats. Have the feet a little bit wide, hold the hands and squat a little bit, see how that feels on the knees. If you can squat lower, go ahead, but don't worry about it. Do it lightly if you need. Squat deep only if it feels good and you can keep lots of weight in your heels. We'll do a few more, working on the glutes primarily. The more the weight's in the heels, the less you're gonna overdo the knees and quads and feel the glutes and the back get strong and you get a little more flexible in the hips and back as well. All right, very good. Go ahead and lift the arms, bring the hands down. Let's take rounds of plank. Don't do a long plank, but the shoulders just above the wrists and the legs super firm. Go back to a dog stretch, come back to a plank, back to a dog stretch, and then a plank. Dog stretch, plank, now put the knees down. We're gonna try and hold the plank for, oh, approximately a minute. Now I'll give you splits every 20 seconds so you can do less if you like. Otherwise, start holding the plank. I've got the timer here and we'll work on the form. Strong legs, flat back, tuck tailbone, even a rounded back is better than a flat back to really lift into the lower abdominals, lift out of the shoulders, have the hands completely on the ground. You don't want to be riding the wrists. If anything, the hands more forward, so the wrists have it easier, is better if you need. That's been 20 seconds already. If you need to rest, put your knees down, take a break. If you can keep going, we're getting closer to 40, and then it's the home stretch. That's 40 seconds, and just a tiny bit more. Almost there, and that's a minute, good job. Let's go ahead and switch to laying on the back. So go ahead and slowly make your way to laying on the back, knees to chest, and extend the legs out. 
and bend the knees in. Do that repeatedly, extending out and bending in several more. Feet together if you can, feeling all those core muscles. And ease into chest, then hands behind the head, take left elbow, right side, switch sides, and go back and forth, very steady. to ground, catch your breath a little bit, and then lift up, squeeze the core, reach the arms out, touch one ankle to the other, and go back and forth a little bit. Good, lay back down, and now extend the legs. Lower and lift the legs, maybe hands under the hips if you need. Keep the feet together, neck long, shoulders low. And knees to chest. Let's go ahead and pop on up, draw the hips back. Let's try the V seat now. So hips back, knees up, hands on the ground or arms out. And if you can make the full V, do that. If you need to stay in any of the previous phases, that's totally fine. And that's good for now. Let's switch back to a plank. We're not gonna do plank very long, just a little bit here, lifting out of the shoulders, parting the shoulder blades, seeing if we can do an increased version of our form as we did before in a reduced length of plank. Good, that's good for now. Take a dog stretch and then take a big step up with the right foot. Crescent lunge. You could have the knee bent, but if you can keep the leg straight and have everything low and the arms up, do that. This is strengthening our glutes and quads and back, stretching the hip flexors and improving our balance. So this is a very good, well-rounded stretch strengthen pose to include in our core work routine. And we're gonna do the other side. Work on stepping slow so you're building the core, just moving in and out of the stretches. Crescent. Come on up, tail down, abs in. If your neck really hurts, you might want the arms less aggressively lifted, otherwise lifting and lengthening the arms while lowering the shoulders is good. And when we're done with that, let's go ahead and find our place back at the wall again. Make sure you have enough width or shoulder width or wider. Bring your arms up, work your hips back, chest forward, shoulders open, breathing. Hang out here for a little while. hard on your shoulders, wider position with the hands will help. And when you're done with the stretch, stand on up. Go ahead and tuck your chin to the chest and gently roll back and forth a couple times. And chin to chest, really stand tall, lift the chest, but keep the chin tucked. And then head lifts. And we can call that a very strong, effective, short workout. So that's it for the day. 
I'll be putting out more core conditioning videos a variety of lengths. I think this is the shortest one so far, but definitely not short on effectiveness. So use this again and again when you only have a little bit of time and you want to get in a good strong workout. And I do accept donations for people who are able to, but all these classes are free. So share with your friends and I look forward to the next time. Thank you very much. Ciao.